This inmate chiseled through the ceiling of his cell with a screw, filled a paper cup with a fallen concrete, and slowly poured it into the toilet to flush it away with water. Another cellmate kept a lookout and used a mirror to observe the guards' movements. They stopped digging when they realized that the guards were coming toward their cell. To avoid the guards finding the hole, they covered it with paper and painted it the same color as the ceiling. When the guards left, they continued digging. Mike believed that by digging through the concrete ceiling, they would have a chance to escape from the prison. As Mike was relaxing, he noticed a vent in the roof of his cell. He believed that there was a ventilation duct in the compartment. By chiseling through the ceiling of the cell, he could drill into the duct and climb through the vent to the roof. After three months of digging, the hole in the ceiling got bigger and bigger. The hole was about to be drilled through, but there was a piece of rebar in the hole. The two men were disappointed as never before. They had to find a way to cut the rebar before they could continue digging. Mike worked in the carpentry shop during the day. He slowly approached the saw table and quietly broke off to sections of the hacksaw when the guards weren't looking. Then he carefully opened the box and hid the saw blades in the foil line box, avoiding the metal detector as much as possible. At the end of his shift, Mike took out the items for inspection. The guards saw that the box was still unopened and assumed that there was nothing hidden inside. So he just squeezed it a few times and let Mike through. Mike was relieved. Back in his cell, Mike heated the saw blade over a fire, used a toothbrush as a handle to attach the blade to the toothbrush, and then started sawing through the rebar in the hole with the blade. It wasn't long before Mike was sweating profusely, and after a couple of hours of sawing, he was able to cut through the rebar. The two of them had renewed confidence. After a couple of days, Mike chiseled a small hole with a screw. They were excited it wouldn't be long before they could cut a big hole. The day the guards randomly checked their cells, Mike rushed to cover the hole. Luckily, their cell wasn't inspected today. They knew that if the guards scrutinized the hole, they would find it. They decided to speed up the process and escape before the guards' next inspection. During the day, when Mike was at work, he saw an old hammer used to block the door. Mike decided that the hammer was not on the tool list. He decided to take a chance and take it back to his cell to smash the concrete. When the others weren't looking, Mike quickly grabbed the hammer, wrapped it in a towel, and put it in his backpack. At the end of his shift, to distract the guards, Mike showed them his paintings. The guard complimented Mike on this drawing. Mike was sweating nervously. If the guards were to search him, they'd find the hammer in his bag. Luckily, the guards looked at the painting for a while before letting Mike go. There was a fireworks display in town tonight. Mike took out his hammer and used the sound of the fireworks to drown out the sound of the ceiling. Every time the fireworks went off, Mike smashed the ceiling. Before long, the hole was smashed open. Mike used newspaper to make a dummy head, glued on hair, and put the dummy on the bed and covered it with a quilt to disguise himself as sleeping in the bed. Then he put a plastic bag over the hole to avoid scratches. The two men climbed up through the hole, changed their clothes, drilled into the ventilation ducts, removed the vent shutters, and climbed to the roof. They fixed a rope made of bed sheets to the iron ladder and threw one end of the rope down from the roof. The prison guards saw the dummy on the bed in the middle of the night and thought the two were sleeping and did not notice anything unusual. The two men climbed down the rope and went on their way. The next morning, the guards called them to get up, but there was no response. The guards lifted the covers and realized it was a dummy. Seeing the hole in the ceiling, they realized that the two had escaped and immediately sounded the alarm. But the two had already succeeded in escaping. 